Hello, my name is Alex. I'm with Alrio Health with Health Builders. Today, I will be showing you five exercises to improve your balance and prevent falls. I encourage you to do five to 10 repetitions of each exercise. Okay, so for the first balance exercise that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do marching in place with moving our head left to right side. So it's gonna look something like this. Uh, let's begin by marching out in place. We wanna move the arms at your side, embracing that core a little bit tight. And we're gonna begin by moving our head over to the left while still marching, then bring it back to center, and then move your head over to the right, and then return back to center. We can add a different exercise by turning our head over to the right and then turning our whole body to the right side. And again, from this position, you want to turn your head once again to the right and then our whole body over to the right side again. Finishing over again to, towards the right side, moving your whole body, finding your stabilizing balance, and then turning head again over to your right and then our whole body and we can stop marching. This would be your first exercise. Now, going for the second exercise, this is called a step touch. Uh, for this one, you wanna have a little bit of space uh, at your side, and you're gonna do a step touch left side and then right side. The steps doesn't have to be super long. They can be a little bit short. Try to embrace that core, keep that head straight. You can look down if you need to. Maybe you can do this, maybe 10 exercise on each side and return back to center. That's your second exercise. Now the third exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be our tandem stance. Now for this exercise, you have two options. You can either use a body weight exercise or you can use the assistive of a chair. Uh, let me show you the first option. So the tandem stance, we wanna keep uh, your feet straight Embrace that core. You're gonna bring the left foot in front of the right foot. And you wanna try to center yourself and find that balance. Inhale and exhale. You can make this exercise a little bit easier if you need to by bringing that left foot just a little bit back. It can help you regain that balance. Now, if you need to use the chair, we can grab it. The chair, put it here at your side. With your right hand, you can grab a hold of the chair and then now you can place the left foot in front of the right foot. And if you can, try to see if you can let go of the chair and then try to find your balance. If you feel that you're fearful of falling, just grab a hold of the chair and embrace that core still. That will be our third exercise. Now, going with our fourth exercise, we're gonna do our tandem walk this time. So it will require uh, heel to toe, which I will demonstrate it right here for you. And once again, you have two different options. Uh, we can bring that left heel to your right toe and then right foot towards that left heel. You can do five or six steps, keeping your head straight, embracing that core. Or we can do in a different option, a little bit more safer if you need to, by placing the left foot just a little bit behind, so not in, not, not, not in front of the whole uh, toe, just a little bit back, and then you can do your tandem stance little by little and keeping that core tight, head straight, inhale and exhale. That will be your fourth exercise. Okay, and now for our Next exercise, exercise number five, we're gonna do our lunges this time. You have two options. Uh, you can do a body weight lunge or you can use a chair for an assistive uh, lunge, which I will demonstrate that right now in a little bit. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and do our body weight lunges. So for this exercise, we wanna keep uh, both of our hands onto our hips, embracing that core, just head straight. And you're just gonna lunge over with the right foot right heel touching down hips down bring yourself up and then center now let's go backwards we're gonna bring the right foot back hips down lunging up and then center that's our first um, exercise which is body weight now i'm gonna show you the second option which is a lot more safer 
with the use of an assistive chair. Now, just to make sure that you wanna see that the chair doesn't have any wheels, okay? If it does have wheels, it will move around and you might fall. So just make sure that you grab a chair that it's a lot more stable. Demonstrating you here with the exercise, you're holding the chair with your left hand, right hand on that hip, feet together, embrace that core. You're lunging forward, right foot, hips down, up, and then center. Now let's go backwards, right foot back, lunge down, hips down, up, and straight to center. Okay, and that will be the most safest uh, lunge uh, for your balance. And that concludes all of our five exercises for balance. Please make sure uh, to visit our website, uh, realhealth.org, uh, with health builders. Once again, my name is Alex. Thank you so much for joining me today.